of the Southern New Hampshire University Week in Review, where we take a look back at the previous week's events in Penman Athletics. Women's basketball suffered a pair of setbacks against Bentley University and St. Michael's College. Victoria Wiseman led the way with 16 points and 8 rebounds against the Falcons, while Brooke Springfield and Sarah Ryan were also in double figures with 14 and 11 points. Wiseman was the leading scorer against the Purple Knights on Saturday with 17 points. She also hauled in 8 boards and handed out 4 assists in her final home game. Springfield and Kaylee Griffin also finished in double digits with 14 and 10 respectively. Women's basketball closes things out on Tuesday with a 5.30 tip against Assumption College. On the men's side, Southern New Hampshire captured its first ever Northeast 10 Northeast Division crown with wins against Bentley and St. Michael's. Elijah Bonsignore led a group of four penmen in double figures with 18 points against the Falcons. Rodney Sanders added 17 and BJ Cartarelli and Adrian Oliveira chipped in with 13 and 12 to give Southern New Hampshire an 85 to 73 win. Bonsignore pumped in 21 points and pulled down nine rebounds against the Purple Knights and Sanders added 15 as the Penman pulled out a 74 to 52 victory. Men's basketball wraps up its regular season on Tuesday with a road trip to Assumption for a 7.30 clash with the Greyhounds. Baseball closed out the week with a perfect 5-0 mark at the Ripken Experience in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The Penman opened up on Friday with a 16-1 triumph over the University of Bridgeport before posting a 6-4 win over Felician in the nightcap. Saturday saw Southern New Hampshire sweep a doubleheader with Mercy by final scores of 2-1 and 16-2. And on Sunday, baseball capped things off with a 7-1 victory against Bridgeport. Carson Helms went 7 for 18 over the five-game stretch with four doubles, four RBI, and three stolen bases. And Mike Montville also finished 7 for 18 with a triple, a home run, six runs batted in, and three stolen bases, while Alejandro Diaz posted seven hits with a pair of doubles, a homer, six runs scored, five RBI, and three stolen bases. Southern New Hampshire is back in action on Friday when it faces St. Thomas Aquinas College at 6. That's it for this week's Southern New Hampshire University Week in Review. Check back next Monday for a full recap of this week's events in Penman Athletics.